Now we have our tuber clump after digging it out of the ground. You can see that it's all cleaned off here and dry. What you want to do is between the clippers and a shoe knife, you want to come through and just remove all the stuff that's in your way. Broken necks, you're always going to have one or two that tend to seem to break sometimes when you're digging them out. You want to remove those and you also want to go ahead and remove the mother. You can see this is a mother. It has the stamp from last year and a lot of the roots. At that point, you flip it over here and you can see that we have eyes, very prominent. What you want to do is you want to carve, in this case, between two. And they kind of tend to pop off on their own. Be gentle with them, but and there you have it. Eyes right there. Once again, we keep cutting. Don't worry about that little one because it doesn't even have an eye on it. And what you really want is this better looking tuber. So at that point, then I just remove it. Once again, showing an eye. This one right here has a broken bottom, probably from digging. Still a good tuber, not one I would necessarily sell, but one that I would certainly replant. Once again, good eye is popping right there. You just continue that process till you've gone through your clump, remembering not to keep anything that's broken or too damaged. Um, sometimes using clippers is a good way to get them out of there when a the knife doesn't work. One like this, I would rather keep this nice big tuber, saving the eyes that are right around here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this, just like that. Then I come through, cut last year's stock, or this year's stock off. Trim up some of the roots.